What's up guys, it's Angel, welcome back. As you can see, the bike looks a little bit different than what you are used to, and that is for good reason. A Moto Part and I decided to partner up to show you guys what they have to offer, and this is the new set of fairings that we've got on the bike. So, this is me recording an intro after already finishing the entire job, but this whole video is going to be showing you kind of a detailed tutorial on how to remove and install new fairings on your bike, at least specifically the 2019 to 2023 ZX6R. On the screen, I will put a list of the tools that we had to use, not exact measurements of tools because it might be different for you, but things that we had to use in the process. Now, before we get into it, I will say it will be extremely beneficial if you have a second person there to help you. Having a second person there to hold things for you, help you tighten things down, keep things in place, makes the job so much easier. I would hate having to do it by myself. Though it is doable, it would not be nearly as easy. Once again, huge thank you to Amoto Part. You guys can go to their website and use code ANGEL and save yourself some money on fairings and other motorcycle accessories. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, first things first, you're going to want to pop off the seat and the passenger seat. And that's real simple. So... The keyhole is gonna be up under here. All you're gonna to wanna to do is twist that and lift up on the seat and it'll come right off. So the box includes all of the fairings, obviously, which are just under all of this foam. It also comes with the heat shield wrap stuff. And it also comes with all of the bolts, nuts, and washers, and things of that nature. Now that we got these rear fairings off, the next is gonna be this side fairing right here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna take off this bolt and these bolts up here, and that will allow this one to come free. It's already free back here. Now that we got that side fairing off, we're just gonna start taking off these bolts and putting them in a safe place so you don't lose anything. All right, we finally got this off. There are a couple of cheeky bolts and screws up more towards the front, connecting the side fairings to the front fairings. After you get these couple of screws off and you try to pull on these, you will feel where the tension is and be able to locate those screws and bolts relatively easily. All right, now both sides are completely off, looking kind of interesting, ignore the dent, it's pretty unfortunate. But same situation with this side, some screws on the inside of the fairings that make it a little bit of a challenge to get this off, but once you can finally get your screwdriver into the screws, it makes it a lot easier to get it out. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking all of the bolts out of the windscreen and we'll pull the windscreen off and then we'll pull all the bolts out of this front fairing and pop this bad boy off. All right, so to remove this front fairing, it's a little bit difficult, but once you look in and you see this right here, there's gonna be a bolt in here. I forgot to record us taking that bolt off, but literally once you take that off that side and that off that side, this entire thing just comes off. Now what we're doing, see this screw right back here? There was one just in here. We're taking those two things off and that will free up this front plastic on the headlight. So we're gonna do that. All right, and those same three screws that we took out to get this front fairing off of the headlight, you just wanna replace those front screws after you put your new fairings on. You can see my hand has gotten a little bit dirty throughout this process. So now I will show you where to attach this front fairing. You see this bolt right here? This is that bolt that I was talking about previously that you gotta remove to take off this whole front piece. Once you take off this bolt, this entire front piece just comes off. All right, it's gotten a little dark outside, so you can probably put two and two together. This has taken us a minute. Put the tank fairing on. That was really easy. Let me show you how we did it. Literally, just take these two bolts off and put this tank cover on and then put the bolts back on, and that's literally it, and it looks great. Fitment is also perfect. So. Put all these bolts back in, the windscreen bolts and the mirror bolts. I don't have mirrors, but your mirrors will go in this little divot right here. So next, we're gonna put this side fairing on because it was a lot easier to put on. So we're gonna hope it's a lot easier. Wait, it was a lot easier to take off. So we hope it's gonna be a lot easier to put on. FYI, taking these side turn signals off and putting them back on is pretty easy. Just one, two, three screws. And that's literally it. All right, now that we got this set on, it's time to move on to the next. All right, so now we got both of these sides put on and both sides have a bolt that goes in this side and this, you know, one of these bottom fairing corner piece things. 
it doesn't look the exact same, but it's pretty much the exact same positioning on the other side. So that's what you're gonna wanna do after you got everything aligned and popped in up here. Once again, down in here, there are a couple of screws that make your life a little bit more uh, difficult. But, you know, once you get those in, everything starts to kind of fall into place. So things are looking good so far. We're going to put these bolts in and then we'll show you how to get these side pieces on. So if you'll take a look at this knob right here on this piece, this is one of the dash pieces. You're going to want to line that knob up with this hole right here. It should have a little rubber ring in there and all it does is it just pops in. So we'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So we pop that in on the other side. So it pops in this way. And then all you want to do is pop it under this little piece. There should be some excess under here, as you can see underneath there. So that pops in. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one of the silver bolts that was already in here. And you're just going to want to put it into this hole right here. <laughs> All right, so we got this bolt in here now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this piece's knob into this hole, and it should ideally look something like that once you've got it in there. So we're gonna pop that in. This piece is gonna go underneath this piece in just one second. So we're gonna pop this in. All right, we got that in there now. I have noticed that a lot of the aftermarket push pins don't quite match up with the sizing, at least for this bike specifically. So I would try to be careful when you're removing your stock push pins, but it's just a push pin here. And then one of the more skinny black bolts goes in here. And next we are going to put on this side fairing piece. Now this next side, it's pretty easy. It's not too much of a challenge. So we should be able to just pop this right in here and be good to go. All right, so if you remember the knobs that we had from before, there's gonna be another one under this fairing. So once you slide these two little prongs in, you will push that knob into the hole under here, and that will pop right in there and free up this hole right here. Now, there is gonna be Velcro attaching this whole thing to the side of the bike. That Velcro, you're gonna to have to take off from your stock fairing and put it on the aftermarket fairing. Feel free to let me know what kind of Velcro it is, but I could not figure it out for the life of me. So just taking it off and reattaching it is just fine. It still sticks, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, one hack that I have used several times is, you see right here, you see this bracket? That's not necessarily supposed to be there. So if I am correct, this is supposed to be a push pin, but if you can't make any push pins work or you break too many, you can put a bracket under and just tighten the bolt down. It works like a charm. All right, we've only got two fairings left, the real easy back fairings. And before we get to those, I just wanna say a massive thank you to A Moto Part. Now, a few months ago, before I went down, A Moto Part and I were working together to show you guys what they had to offer. Luckily, after I went down, they decided to work something out with me and we got the bike a new look. It looks absolutely incredible the fairings are high quality they fit great and they look great it's 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 perfect anytime any of my friends ask me what fairings they should go with i tell them to go with a moto part i don't even care if they use my code i just think that they are genuinely the best looking best feeling and best quality fairings on the market all right now this back fairing that we took off earlier you see that hole right there that big one there's going to be a rubber bushing type of thing in there and you're gonna to wanna to take that out of the stock fairing and put it in the aftermarket. That way, this little knob right here, you see that? That is what's gonna go in there. So we're gonna make that happen. All you're gonna do is slide this down in there and it'll sit kinda of right there and you'll pop that knob in and then everything else will be push pins and bolts. All right, so this is gonna be a push pin. This is gonna be the same push pin. I would try to keep this one stock I just do that because the seat is right here. And if you're taking the seat off, it just looks better, but that's just me. And right here, you're going to want to use one of the longer silver stock bolts. And this one's going to be the shorter silver stock bolt that we took out previously. So we're going to put those two in and it'll be the same thing on the other side. All right. We're looking at the same story on this side. You slide this in here. As you can see, I did my little bracket and bolt trick. So that's what we're going to do here instead of a push pin like we did on this side. 
And after that, we are going to do the long bolt, or sorry, the short bolt, and then the long bolt up top. See, long bolt up here, short bolt down here. All right, now that we got this bolt or push pin, whatever you decided to use, I uh, forgot to put a push pin in here, so let me do that real quick. All right, so now that we got the push pin in, we are going to put this passenger seat on. Luckily, the passenger seat is one of the easiest steps. You'll see those grooves that slides under there. Once you slide that in, it'll just pop right on. And it's pretty much the same with the front seat, except it slides forward. So you slide it forward and then just click it into place and you're good to go. All right, and the bike is done. Also, I would highly, highly, highly recommend having another person there to help you do this because it is way easier with two people as opposed to trying to do it by yourself. Again, thank you Amoto Park for the support and thank you guys for your support. Once again, use code ANGEL if you want to save some money on motorcycle fairings and accessories. I think it came out incredible, personally. I think the color is super sick. I think it's a perfect purple-ish pink type deal. It's not too pink, but it's also pink enough so it's unique. I apologize that I'm not the best teacher in the world. There were some things that I did just completely forget to record, but I promise I tried my best. And now that the bike is finally fixed and squared away, you guys will be seeing a lot more of me. So, you ready?